Hey guys, for Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr. More often than not, when you're sitting in that job interview, the interviewer eventually gets around to that one question. So where do you see yourself in five years? And as much as we've thought about this and prepared for this question, in reality, we're probably thinking, I don't even know what I'm going to do next week. However, what the job interviewers really want to know when they ask you this question isn't necessarily the specifics of what your life is going to look like five years from now, but more importantly, if you'll have the work ethic, attitude, and loyalty to make a good long-term hire. They're also looking for any red flag to use as an excuse not to hire you, so don't give them one. Here is what job interviewers are looking for when they ask you this question. You've thought about it and have a plan. Show the interviewer that you've put real thought into this question and have some sort of idea planned out, but that you're also flexible to change. You're driven, but your goals are realistic. It's cool to show that you have a lot of goals you want to achieve, and it's okay to say that you're looking for promotions within the company, but unrealistic if, for example, you say you want to be the CEO of the company in a few years if you're applying at an entry-level position. You're willing to put in the time and hard work. Let them know that you realize it will take time and a lot of work before you are able to move up within the company. Show your willingness to work on personal and professional development first. You're going to stick around. Companies generally dislike hiring and training a new employee who ends up leaving after a short period of time. In the end, it's a waste of time and money for the company who invested in you. Avoid saying you hope to be at another company or even a completely different role than you're applying for. The job fits into your long-term goal. Explain how the role you're interviewing for is the foundation that will help you achieve your long-term goal. In general, preparing for this question is a very good exercise in figuring out what you enjoy doing, what is meaningful to you, and really what you actually want to be doing in five years. Practice how you will describe your long-term career plans in a way that will be relevant to the interviewer and help you tell your story about why you're the best person for the job. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Complex Hustle on YouTube for more entrepreneurial stories and check out the ComplexCon website below to get your tickets for the event, which is this weekend. For Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr.